Hey y'all, what's up? I, I need y'all to do me a favor. Learn how to build a relationship with your own people, your own spirits, your own ancestors. Especially when it comes to hoodoo. Any other spiritual practice, yes. But especially when it comes to hoodoo, and I'm going to tell you why I say that. Hoodoo is a faith-based ancestral practice. Period. Our ancestors were brought here from different regions. And they merged with whomever else was brought here. And they came up with a, a, a system or a method of survival. And that system, which is the spiritual system, was developed is now what we call today hoodoo. Everybody practiced different, y'all. Everybody's family didn't go to the cemetery to do work. A lot of them went to the church. And then it's a lot of people that I give readings to. They're confused. They're like, okay, well, I don't think that this is it and it's not working and, and blase, squase, whatever. But the reason why it's not working for you is because you're trying to incorporate what somebody else doing. Instead of seeking your own people. When you get a reading, an ancestral reading, when it comes to hoodoo, you need to get the messages from your people on what you need to do in order to continue your practice, not mine. This is a way of life. This is something that you do every day, all day. I'm not saying that you calling on spirits all day, every day. That's not what I'm saying. But this is a way of life. It's a way of survival. You can't get around your own people and go to somebody else. For them to teach you how your people survive. Yeah, we can point you. We can guide you. But we cannot tell you verbatim everything that your people did. That's where the ancestral knowledge comes in. Don't be nobody fooled. 